Good day, my name is Dr. David Evans. I am the founder of Vector Vision and the inventor of our newest product, the CSV 2000. In today's video, we're going to discuss the use of contrast sensitivity testing to detect macular degeneration and track the progression. One of the reasons why Vector Vision testing technology is becoming widely adopted to quantify vision changes in AMD patients is due to our patented autocalibration technology ensuring consistent, sensitive, and accurate testing from patient to patient, office to office, and from visit to visit. Detection of early vision loss due to macular degeneration requires a highly sensitive and standardized test. Only the Vector Vision contrast sensitivity test devices have the proper sensitivity and standardization to detect and track these subtle vision changes. For other types of tests, when light levels vary from one monitor to another, or from room to room, testing results then vary and become inaccurate. Our newest device, the CSV2000, uses the newly patented AccuVis technology to ensure standardization. It is the only all-in-one computer test device that incorporates standardized monitor luminance. You can see it's calibrating now. Both the CSV1000 and CSV2000 include precise calibration circuitry in every unit to achieve a standardized light level of testing at 85 candelas per meter squared. When testing contrast sensitivity for AMD, all four spatial frequencies should be used. Test rows A, B, e, C, and D, paying particular attention to rows C and D for signs of early AMD. Information related to studies demonstrating the power of contrast sensitivity to evaluate macular degeneration is shown on the macular degeneration page of our website, VectorVision.com. This graph shows contrast sensitivity improvements in AMD patients before and after a nutritional therapy of primarily lutein. The study revealed that patients with early AMD showed significant improvements in contrast sensitivity with proper nutrition. The asterisk shows significant results for the different spatial frequencies. VectorVision CSV1000, the predecessor to our newest model, the CSV2000, was used in this study to show these precise results. Another example of a successful study using vector vision contrast sensitivity to track the benefits of nutrition was published in the journal Nutrients in 2020. The study compared two groups of patients who had early drusen, prolonged dark adaptation time, and were at risk for vision loss from AMD. One group took the Lomega Z nutrition formula and the other the Airrich 2 formula pressure vision, both for six months. Results showed Lomega Z provided a significant improvement in contrast sensitivity, and the ARIDS group showed no change. The graph here shows a case report of one patient from that study. The two lines here reveal the patient results before and after six months of taking Lomega Z in one eye. The lower dotted line shows the results of the patient when he entered the study before taking Lomega Z, the patient had depressed contrast sensitivity below the normal range. The patient improved contrast sensitivity significantly, jumping up into the normal range after six months of treatment with Lomega-Z. Lomega-Z is a medical food distributed by the parent company of VectorVision, Guardian Health Sciences. Both the CSV-1000 and CSV-2000 are excellent tools to evaluate the contrast sensitivity of AMD patients. They only require less than three to four minutes to test both eyes. The results detect early vision loss and track progression and demonstrate the impact of treatment. Thank you again for viewing this video and learning how to use contrast sensitivity to evaluate AMD patients. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us.